This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Camden. Delight to be joined by Fabio Wardley. Fabio, been a while, mate. How are you? Yeah, it's been a little bit. How are you? I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Now, let's talk about you back this weekend, Daniel Martz. Um, bit of time out and understand you had a couple injuries dealing with and stuff like that. How are you now? Feeling fresh after a little bit of a break? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it, feels, it feels really good to go through a camp and not have any kind of little niggles or anything holding you back or just kind of holding on to you. So, um, yeah, it's been really good to just have a camp and been able to get through it and get stuck in. In terms of your opponent on Saturday, I had a look. He's been taken out early by some, some top-tier heavyweights, what you'd say, upper-class heavyweights. But his record does suggest he can punch a bit as well. You got to be wary of that on Saturday? Sunday, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a shootout almost, isn't it? Because he's, he, don't get me wrong, he's been stopped a few times, but he can also he's also stopped a large, large percentage of his opponents. So who knows? Who knows how he's going to come forward? If he comes to get stuck in, then it's something I'm well known for doing, is meeting fire with fire, so I might have to do that on the night. Some fighters like all the data and the comparisons and some aren't bothered at all. Are you the kind of guy that looks at when you've got common opponents or someone you're fighting and thinks, oh, it'd be nice to do it quicker than them? It's not really. like it's, To me, I don't feel it really proves anything. Like There's so many variables that go into a single fight that what camp shape was you in, what camp shape were they in, the other person, is what point in their career was it in, was it early, was it late, what stage. It's just ultimately all I'm focused on is getting the win. Once I get the W, everything else is extra. It doesn't matter. We were just talking off camera, I wanted to go back to it, while you were having a little bit of time away from the ring, I saw you doing your commentary stuff just before Christmas, how did it feel swapping the, the gloves for the microphone, you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good, it was good, a little bit of time off, so I found a, a different way to fill my time, and to be fair, it was something I really liked, really enjoyed, something I'm hoping to do a few more times this year as well, and just kind of sit into that as well, I quite liked it, it was fun, it was fun to be on the other side of the commentary for once, and me making the actual comments. Be honest, much easier than fighting? <laughs> I don't know about that because to be honest with you I'm, I'm a very relaxed chilled guy I'm not really like nervy about anything even when I go into fights I'm very chilled but about that I was a little bit like oh I don't want to mess up here like I don't want to get it wrong at all so I don't know it might be a bit easier but I was a little bit more nervy there all being well for you on Sunday I saw a video that went out from Wasserman yesterday Nathan Gorman again talking about a fight with you very respectful um, I saw you kind of engage with that tweet as well is that the fight for later this year all being well on Sunday yeah that's the one isn't it that's the that's the kind of next step for me is to get get stuck into something like that I've I've done the English title now I've won it I've defended it great so the next thing for me to do now is is push on to bigger things and the British title is that and whether it's against Nathan or against someone else then no problem it, it seems like obviously Nathan's the most likely person for it but if he is if he isn't it doesn't matter all I'm hunting for is belts just a few things heavyweight away from yourself Fury White everyone's been in uproar will he sign won't he sign you know Dillian who's always going to sign surely oh, of course he was never going to he was never going to miss that opportunity and that, there was never a chance in his life he was going to let that go by like don't get me wrong he'd there's no rule saying you have to do sign your contract immediately. You can sign it one minute before if you like. And he, he waited not till then, but a bit a bit sooner. But I think it doesn't that doesn't matter at all. All the things that matters now is the fight is signed. And the, the coming weeks of the of the presser and the build up and stuff is gonna be good. Style wise in the fight, what's Dillian's best chance do you think against someone with the, the physical attributes that Tyson Fury has? Um, I think Tyson Fury in his fights always he gets his own way a lot of the time. He's able to implement his kind of the way he wants the fight to go, his style, whatever it be. Um, so I think Dill's chance of that is to take it away from him. And he's the right person to do that as well. He's the right person to make it. Fury is, likes to box pretty. He likes to box and move and keep on his toes and keep that movement going where Dill needs to close that gap, keep close to him and just rip them body shots in and, and they'll pay dividends later down the line. Right, Fabio, thank you as always for speaking to Boxing Social. I'm sure we'll catch you after the fight, but yeah, take care.